Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily change the expiration date of your team meetings recording. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So as you hold your team's meetings, if you decide to record them, the recording is only kept for 120 days. After that, the file is actually deleted, that video file, and essentially uh, it's gone, it goes to the recycle bin. And that's done for the you know storage reasons, right? Primarily because uh, I, I'm sure you have lots and lots of meetings. Multiply that by number of people uh, in your organization, and uh, you can obviously have lots and lots of this uh, you know pretty large video files. So the default is 120 days. Let me show you how you can easily change it. So let me actually first uh, hold a meeting, a uh, really brief uh, meeting that I'm going to have in my uh, one of my channels and one of my teams. So mm -hmm. I'm going to join a team's meeting. Uh, obviously, typically you would invite other uh, team members, uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and record it. We'll only uh, do a very short recording, just a few seconds to get it going. And then we will stop the recording and end the meeting. So obviously right now my uh, meeting has been recorded. I will let it run for a few seconds. All right, and I'm going to now uh, actually uh, stop it. Uh, and you know what? I think we uh, are actually going to end the meeting as well. All right, so we're done. Now, uh, the video has been generated. It actually tells me right here that the, um, you know, essentially recording has been uh, generated. It's saving the recording uh, because it's such a, you know, so it was such a quick meeting. Uh, it should be here in a second right here. Here it is. And it actually tells me right here that uh, the recording is set to expire. I can obviously access it from here, but the recording is set to expire. So now I can access it, you know, uh, and change the expiration date by clicking the link. So let me do that. And here is the recording. So uh, it actually says uh, 60 days, expires in 60 days, uh, but um, as I record this video, uh, Microsoft will change the default to 120 days. So uh, the default is actually the new threshold is 120 days. But in any case, I want to extend this, all right? Or maybe even remove the expiration date altogether. Maybe it was such an important meeting uh, and uh, I need to retain it forever. In this case, you just click uh, on this field right here and you can extend it by any number of days, select maybe a date down the road in the future uh, when it will be deleted or remove expiration altogether. All right, so uh, pretty, pretty handy um, and you can pretty much change it on the fly. Again, by default, it's going to be 120 days, uh, but you can change it right from here. Let me actually show you uh, another way to remove uh, the expiration date or maybe change it to something else. When I showed you my uh, Microsoft team over here, this is my Microsoft Teams application and this particular team in Microsoft Teams, behind the scenes, all the recordings are stored on a SharePoint site that is uh, actually tied to this Microsoft team. So if I go to my HR team site right now, and this is the same site that is connected to the same Microsoft team. If I go to that channel where I held uh, my, uh, you know, meeting at, and I click on the recordings folder, you will get to see the recording that we just did, okay, over here. And if you click on the checkbox next to this recording and this little eye panel, uh, you know, uh, in the upper right corner, uh, look at this, this is all the metadata uh, that is applicable uh, to this particular file. And I have some custom metadata in uh, in my library, so ignore that part. But if you will notice, um, it actually has an expiration date. All right, so uh, it's smart enough to recognize that this uh, is not just a regular file uploaded to the library, it was a recording created from Microsoft Teams, and that's why it got this extra piece of metadata expiration date. All right, and uh, once again, uh, it's going to be 120 days from the date of recording, but you can, uh, you can uh, again, you know, remove the, you have the same options uh, as I shown you, as I have shown you previously, you can remove the expiration or select another date and so on. 
So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Essentially, if you are recording your meetings, uh, don't forget uh, you only have four months uh, before they are deleted and they go to the recycle bin. So if uh, you have a very important recording, uh, make sure to remove the expiration date uh, or extend it. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. Thank you very much. Goodbye.